the royal family is having quite the year. This spring brought the birth of Prince Louis and the wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Zara Tyndall is due with her baby, the Queen's great grandchild, any day now, and Princess Eugenie, the daughter of Prince Andrew, will wed her fiance Jack Brooksbank in October. Advertisement continue reading below, but another member of the royal family just shared he'll be tying the knot before Eugenie walks down the aisle. The Queen's third cousin once removed, Lord Ivor Mintbatten, has announced he will marry his longtime partner James Coyle this summer. It will mark the extended royal family's first same-sex marriage. We'll be pronounced partners in marriage, but the ceremony itself will be very small. It's just for the girls and close family and friends, Coyle explained to the Daily Mail. Everyone else, about 120 friends, will arrive for the party afterwards. We'll have lovely food and really good music. But there won't be two men in tuxedos on a cake, white doves or anything twee or contrived like that, will there? Mintbatten added, we'll probably have cheese instead of cake. While Mintbatten and his wife Lady Penny Mintbatten divorced eight years ago, they remain quite close. So close, in fact, that she will give her ex-husband away at his wedding. It was the girl's idea, she told the Daily Mail it makes me feel quite emotional. I'm really very touched. At this point it's unclear if any members of the royal family will attend the celebration. Sophie Countess of Wessex and Prince Edward know of our plans and are really excited for us, Mintbatten says of his lifelong friend the Queen's youngest son and his wife. Sadly they can't come to the wedding. Their diaries are arranged months in advance and they're not around, but they adore James. Everyone adores him. While Queen has yet to comment specifically on her relative's wedding, she has made statements in support of LGBTQ rights in the U. In the past, my government will make further progress to tackle the gender pay gap and discrimination against people on the basis of their race, faith, gender, disability, or sexual orientation, she said during her speech at the state opening of Parliament last summer. Advertisement continue reading below more recently, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have pledged to stand up for LGBTQ youth. Miss Markle said, and these were her exact words, this is a basic human rights issue, not one about sexuality, Australian Jacob Thomas told reporters at the Commonwealth Youth Forum in London in April. Both Prince Harry and Miss Markle said they would put LGBT issues at the front of their work, Jonah Chinga, an LGBTQ activist from Kenya who was also at the forum, confirmed to reporters.